Hi everyone, welcome back to Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into the VeChain Tokens daily update. If you are enjoying this daily content, do make sure to subscribe to the channel and join that Discord discussion with the link in the description below if you are interested. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter where I'll be doing daily summaries of our price target updates and I'll also be uh, sharing with you when we have hit these uh, price targets. You can see that this is an example from the Cardano video that we did hit that 14% long trade and I've shared, um, I've shared that with you straight away. So definitely do join that Twitter, it's going to be really valuable to a lot of people and make sure to hit that link in the description. This is the 4 hourly time frame for the VeChain token and in yesterday's video I was actually looking for a back test and I was saying that potentially we could all come all the way back down to this 9.1 cent. And I've actually realized that I've, I've just um, drawn this trend line in much thinner. I've done it really accurately now. And you can see that we did actually have that back test on that uh, 6th of August, I think. And I think that that's definitely something that you can argue. So if we have had that back test, which I do think that we've had now on the 6th of August, um, we were on for that continuation. And essentially, that's why we did um, go on for this continuation. And it's actually looking really, really healthy for VeChain, guys. You can see that the RSI, it didn't even increase that much. It wasn't very overextended when we did see this huge uh, rally. And we saw the volume um, kind of see a bit of a decrease now. And essentially, you can see that the volume's decreased. We've had quite a bit of a correction in the RSI as well. You can see that RSI is corrected from that 85 level. We're all the way back down to that 73 level. So we do still need to see a correction. However, the 20 EMA on, the day, on, the, on this uh, four hourly time frame is looking nice for that correction around that 9.9 .9 cent region. Hopefully we can just come down with that. The stock chart size looking to correct a little bit more on the four hourly as well. And um, essentially guys, this is actually really bullish for VeChain as I would have actually expected it to correct much more on that RSI. However, you can see that we have been fairly stable with this price action around this area. And it's showing, um, it's essentially showing that the bulls are kind of winning this battle, if you like that analogy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out and show you where these um, kind of resistance levels have been found. Have been found, And you can see that this resistance level is actually on our 11 cent region. So that's just kind of that 10.8 cent region. This was only a wick, so that could potentially just be an anomaly. And if you were to actually bring this down, you can see that most candles are actually closing below that 10.8 cent region. And you can see that we actually had this mapped out in our charts because this was actually a key um, resistance level that we failed to backtest as a support on the 18th of June. Our next target is actually this 11.6 cent region, which is our resistance. And it has been since the 14th of June when we failed to backtest it as well. And then um, you can see on the, the next target from there would, would actually be this 12 uh, cent region. So I will actually map that in for you for anyone who likes to see it all um one who people some people actually like to see all the resistance levels just whilst you are going up to this process however this really key one is actually the 12.8 cent region i've just jumped into the weekly time frame as i know that there will be some uh, viewers who have never seen this channel before and they will actually be unaware of why this 12.8 cent region is a key level and essentially it's the 0.236 uh, region on this fibonacci retracement tool when you do look at the weekly time frame, it's much uh, clearer. You can see here on the 31st of May, the 7th of uh, June, we did hit our resistance on that. And on this 7th of June, we failed to backtest it as a support. And if we had have backtested it as a support, you can see that this point uh, 146, so that's 14.6% um, of this uh, wave three. That's a very key level to be looking out for. And that's actually the 17.6 cent region. If you do see a back test of that as well, you will be going on for this all time high. And th this should actually be, um, th this just isn't as accurate as it could be, um, essentially, but the all time high is around that 28 cent region. So essentially, if you do see that back test of the 17.5 cent, after you do back test that 12.8 cent, this is uh, where the all time high is kind of coming in. So it is all kind of coming together for VeChain now, guys. You can see that the Elliott Wave theory is definitely being a data. You can see that the when you do look at RSI in a weekly time frame, it's much healthier. You're on that 54 level. You can actually compare this to the Wave 2. You can see that the Wave 2 had this uh, very similar kind of consolidation period, a very similar kind of length of time. It is a bit longer for this Wave 4. However, it was to be expected as we were overextended on the Wave 3. And essentially, when you do see us come up, maybe into that, um, I'll, I'll have a look here, guys, maybe into that 58 level on this RSI, the Stotch RSI will probably be um, into this more comfortable area where we're not overextended anymore on that 20 level. And I do actually anticipate that that's when the sentiment in the market for the VeChain token will actually have an EVI rating of A1. 
And I will get into that EVI rating um, in our next video, just to make sure that everyone's aware of the sentiment in the market. So I've just jumped into it um, in a much clearer view, guys. I've zoomed in much more into this uh, weekly time frame, and I just wanted to share with everyone that this is the kind of process you wanted to get to. Potentially, you will actually see a correction towards that uh, 9.7 cent. That 9.7 cents our weekly time frame 20 year May. If you were to fall below that, potentially you would be finding a nice support in that 8.7 cent region. I don't actually anticipate this to happen. As um, there is actually a descending um, support level as well with that ascending triangle, that ascending uh, bullish triangle. So I don't actually anticipate you'd be coming towards that 34 EMA. If you were to find a really nice support in this 20 EMA, if you were to correct on that daily and that four hourly time frame, essentially I do think that you well you'd still be in an uptrend. Right now, what we're looking for today, um, we're looking for that weekly candle to close above this 20 EMA. It's looking like we are going to see that, and it's going to say that we are on for bullish continuation um, in, in the next uh, kind of week, essentially. So why I'm anticipating is if we do see this bat test, that we are going to go on towards this 12.8 cent region. You see that bat test there. You are going to find resistances along the way, so it's going to be like a stairway, guys. And then you are going to go and hit this key level of the 17.5 cent. Now, one thing that I have been saying to everyone is that if we did actually see that back test of this 0.236 level and we did actually continue, so you saw the validation on this uh, weekly time frame, I have actually been saying that I do 100% think that the wave uh, 5 is going to be validated. This won't be the only indicator. So this is one of the indicators, guys. The other indicator is this um, is obviously this Stotch RSI that I was just sharing with you. And then um, essentially because it's so similar to this wave two and also this RSI when we do kind of get into that 58 level and we start rising. So this is um, my kind of logic behind this. As soon as you see that back test of the 17.5 cent region, I should really be saying 17.6 cent, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, I do think that we will be going on for continuation towards that all time high. And that's um, where that wave five's kind of starting on this 12.8 cent region. So I've been uh, kind of preaching this for a long time now, guys. It is looking like it's going to be close. So VeChain's looking really healthy, guys. It's one of the more bullish charts in this um, in this crypto space. And we are trending above the 20 EMA on that weekly time frame. And we've got around 10 hours before that actually closes. So as soon as that candle closes, we're going to have a really nice indication. It's looking like it is going to close above that 20 EMA. So we're extremely bullish for VeChain. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate everyone's support of this channel, guys. We've managed to hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone in only 51 days. So it's absolutely brilliant. I really do appreciate everyone's support of this channel. If you do want to support the channel and get more value for yourself, do make sure to join that Discord discussion. Make sure to join that um, follow, sorry, follow the Twitter. The Twitter is actually probably bringing the most value outside of YouTube. Make sure to um, join that Instagram. So definitely do follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that bell notification. So thank you for watching this video and have a really great day.